Shalom, Shalom, Israel, coming back at you with another lesson. Lord willing, this is edifying. First off, giving all praise, all honor, all glories to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rakakwadash. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone, and all the teachers out there pushing this word in truth, with truth and sincerity, especially now as your lives to do so. May you be the elect. Shalom to all the Akim and the Aquas out there listening and learning. You Israelites, so-called Negroes, Hispanic, Native, and Seminole Indians, who are the true children of Israel, as well as you speckled bird, Israelite foreigners, the Israelites that look like, act like, and take on the customs of all these heathen nations. So to you, I say Shalom. This lesson is brought to you by the Spirit and the power of Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh Shai. Yahweh being the true name of our fathers, the God of the Bible, the God of the Israelites, by Hashem meaning in the name, and Yahweh Shai being the only begotten son of Yahweh, who the world ignorantly calls by the name of J.C. <clears throat> now, you see the title of uh, uh, the video that this person made, right? This Kerrigan Ske Skelly, all right? Uh, titled, uh, Angry, quote, Hebrew Israelite threatens, quote, white preacher, all right? <laughs> now, when you watch this video, if you if you go back, you know, actually watch this video, that there's quite a few things in there. That a true man of the Lord is, first of all, not going to really deal with. Right? First off, how Jake came off. Right? And that's how a lot of Jake, you know, as soon as they started knowing the truth about who they are as a people, they got this, you know, super Israelite type of attitude. You know, want to go confront everybody who's not an Israelite. This ain't the time to be doing that kind of shit, for, for one. Two, Jake said he a man of the Lord, but he had his head covered the whole time. <clears throat> I mean, he was, you know, in a sense, had the 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 desire, I guess you could say, to defend the gospel. Not really, but you know, uh, but but no, okay, because you know, hey, look, man, if you sitting out there, you about to go into a battlefield. Are you about to go into a battlefield without without your your rifle, without any type of uh, ammunition, right? Any any kind of uh, you know, first aid kit, whatever the case may be, anything and everything that you may need to, to be out in the battlefield, are you going to go out there empty-handed? No, you're going to at least do what? Bring your sword, all right, in this in this case, your scriptures, to back up everything that you're saying, especially if you call yourself a man of the Lord, all right, you got to be ready to defend the gospel. This cat just coming up with small things that he heard, all right, and, you know, not not coming up with no scriptures, man, to cut this cat, all right? And this so-called white preacher, all right, this Edomite preacher, friend, he, he had me right off the bat telling him, oh, you're a sinner, you're going to hell. What? There, what hell doctrine are you talking about? That's not in the scriptures, all right? But nonetheless, the whole point of this, when you watch this whole video, there's a whole lot of folly that this cat, this Israelite could have avoided, all right? But no, he wanted to be... A super Israelite, one to try to try to be deep, all right, and waiting around in the shallow end of the pool, man, all right, trying to be deep, you know, it's shallow as hell, man, all right, but you know, like I said, you gotta watch this whole video. I ain't, I'm, I'm not, I'm not about to dissect this whole video. I'm giving you the, the, the gist of what was going on in this video, man. All right, so without any further ado, let's get some scriptures. All right, so the, the name of this lesson is a zeal but not according to knowledge therefore shh, i wanted to say something else but you know jake trying to learn how to uh you know get better his, his daggone self man you know because i got that i'm about to chew your fucking head off but i gotta learn how to be cool so i gotta i can't i can't uh teach it if i ain't doing it you know what i'm saying so i'm i'm learning myself but nonetheless that's the name of this lesson Let's get into it. This is Romans 10. I'm starting at verse 1. It says, Brethren, brethren, hear, so, so I can, brethren, my heart's desire and prayer for the Most High, to the Most High for Israel is that they might be saved. All right? And that's the whole thing. We want these so called Negroes, Hispanic, Native, and Seminole Indians, right? The true Israelites of the, the Bible. The Lord don't want y'all to perish, man. He, he wants to give us the kingdom. But a lot of you, you two thirds anyway. You two thirds are not going to come back to the to the scriptures. You're not going to come back to your true heritage. You're going to continue being niggas in the world. You embrace this world. You are friends of the world. 
So therefore, you are going to be of the world, all right, until that day come, all right, and you're all going to be destroyed along with the heathen, all right. <clears throat> so, but the, the Lord wants us to have it, man. We are his people. He don't want us to be destroyed. But y'all, hey, you want to be destroyed because you're not even trying to hearken. You're not trying to do nothing that the Lord is telling us to do to get right, all right. Verse 2, it says, For I bear them record that they have a zeal of the Most High, but not according to knowledge. Our people got the zeal. You can see it. All right? You can see, all right, the so-called going to church every Sunday. Right? A lot of them go do it faithfully. All right? But what else but what else do they do with that? They create all kinds of folly and madness and, and abominations, man. These are the same ones. As soon as they get done with church, they go out in the basement, go eat a, a, a rib sandwich, ham sandwich. All right? Uh, hog mall chitlins <laughs> probably did a whole lot of that uh, over the um over this week, man. All right, with the so-called Christmas Christmas ham, as they call it. All right, sitting around eating pork, man. All right, and then got the nerve to give grace to the Most High. All right, or, or who they call JC, thinking that they praying, thinking that they doing something big, man. All right, can't spell Christmas without Christ. These are people that you avoid. If you truly uh trying to deal with your how about shy, these are the people you avoid. Just, you know, just go ahead, nah, yeah, you got it, you right, and move on about your damn business, man. Don't go head to head with these people, man. Let them have it. Let them let them be right. To the, to the Lord prove they ass wrong in the end. All right. <clears throat> Before I bear them that they have the rec bear I bear them record that they have a zeal of the Most High, but not according to knowledge. For they being ignorant of the Most High's righteousness and going about to establish their own righteousness have not submitted themselves unto the righteousness of the Most High. Like this cat in this, in this video, man. This nigga is supposed to be at work doing his job. He risking his job to go tell off uh, this Edomite uh, pastor, preacher, whatever he want to call himself because he wasn't ordained by the Most High. That's for sure. All right. And, and to try to tell him off <clears throat> about something that he... He heard in some videos, all right, and, and if, you know, not not uh, not even coming in the, in the right manner, man. All right, he he was right off the bat trying to be on some super Israelite nigga, man. All right, trying to go about his his own righteousness. <laughs> all right, not not uh doing anything that the, the, the any example that the Lord gave us, being humble. All right, he should have already know not to go. Not to go head to head with somebody who who's unlearned. If you say you're a man of the Lord, you you are learned in some some respect. You're not gonna go toe to toe with a nigga that's un, not un, uh, that is unlearned. You're not, All right? Trying to like again, he's trying to establish his own way, trying to be right. And then and then on top of that, if you listen to the whole video, the Edomite was getting on his ass, man, tearing his ass up. Jake didn't come out with not one scripture, man. Some some partial, <laughs> some partial stuff, and then that backing up nothing. Just going off some things that he possibly heard. All right. This is Sirach five and twelve. If thou have understanding, answer thy neighbor. If not, lay thy hand upon thy mouth. Now, when it goes into the word neighbor, all right, you Israelites should, should only really be dealing with Israelites. Now, if you got to deal with people in the world, so be it. But when it's talking about your neighbor, it's talking about other Israelites. Okay, not every damn person in the world, all right. But it says, if thou have understanding, answer thy neighbor. You, if you, if you know what you're talking about, go ahead and, and put it out there. But if you don't, if you ain't got the whole understanding, you don't have the proper breakdown. Shut the fuck up. That's what this is talking about. Shut your ass up. You know. Don't don't do do don't do nothing. Don't say nothing to have the ministry blame for your fucking folly, man. All right. Scripture say, if any man speak, let him speak as an oracle of the Most High, man. That means you should always be able to come up with a precept. For what you talking about? Whatever the subject y'all that you trying to uh, uh, have a, um, a dialogue about, you don't just come out of your damn mouth, right? Look, some gain say, right? Your own, your own, uh, your own thoughts, your own opinions. You got to come with the scriptures, and then be, be able to back it up with other precepts. Jake was sitting there getting his ass tore off by this damn so-called preacher, man. You know? If you have understanding, speak on it. 
use scriptures, all right? Even if you uh, memorize some things, so what? Use the scriptures. A mighty brother told me that. He said, yeah, just because you know it, you could, you could say it by heart. It's always still better to read. And he was right. As soon as he said that, I immediately grasped hold of that. And he was right. Absolutely. It don't matter how much you know. Use, use what you got. Read. Read. All right? <clears throat> and this is Sirach 22 and 13. It says, talk not much with a fool. And this is the whole thing. When you watch this whole video, this dude could have, he could have went on about his damn business, man. But no, he doing, he going back and forth with this motherfucker that, ain't, that, don't, don't, that don't know shit. As soon as, as soon as I hear a cat say something about JC, talking about hell, I already know. Unlearn. Go on about your business. Go on about your business. You ain't saying the names y'all and y'all shy. Go on about your business. All right. If they if they ain't coming in a, in in a uh, uh the you know the right type of uh the right kind of spirit, go on about your way, man. All right. The Lord is turning these demons up. If you true man of the Lord, you're going to be able to see these things ahead of time. You're going to be able to feel that presence ahead of time. Sirach 22 and 13, it says, Talk not much with a fool, and go not to him that hath no understanding. All right? And that, that goes for the, the, the so-called preacher that was in this video. Stay away from him, clearly, obviously. And then that nigga that was in the cart. Stay away from him, too. Because clearly he didn't know shit. All right? He had a, you know... Uh, 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 a faint idea of what was going on, but he didn't pull up with no precepts. He had his hat, uh, his head covered, right? And then he again, he going back and forth with this idiot that didn't didn't know shit. Let them, let these people have it, man. All right, you want some understanding? You go to the real men of the Lord on the highways and the hedges. All right, ask them questions. That's the ones that's uh, 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 ready, ready to answer. Ones that's ready to defend the, defend the gospel. All right. And, and with that being said, you got to be more uh, ready to hear. Don't be trying to speak. When these men of the Lord are speaking, you shut the hell up and let them talk, man. All right. Keep thy foot when you're in the presence of the Lord, man. All right. And definitely don't be trying to talk over the scriptures. That's the Lord speaking. When them scriptures come out, you shut the fuck up and listen. All right. A lot of people have, uh, have two different ways of, of listening. Those that listen to actually listen and those that listen to respond. As soon as you get done talking, they got something to say. They didn't even hear what you were saying. They just waiting for you to shut up so they can talk. See, you got to be more ready to hear if you trying to get an answer for what's, what you uh, are inquiring about as far as the scriptures. Talk not much with a fool and go not to him that has no understanding. Beware of him, lest thou have trouble. And thou shalt never be defiled with his fooleries. Depart from him, and thou shalt find rest, and never be disquieted with madness. All right? You ain't gonna be sitting there being bothered with all this folly, man. Then not then and then then <laughs> then, right? You might be the one to have second doubt, sec, uh, second doubts at that. Second thoughts. Man, maybe every, what I was saying is uh, is wrong. Now, this uh, this this guy that I was trying to argue with sound like he got something to say. Sound like he knows something. Now he's now he making me second uh, uh, uh second guess myself. <laughs> Stay away from these people, man. Let these people have it. All right? This ain't the time to be trying to be super Israelite. If you want to do that, bring your ass to the line. Be Superman on the line. When, when, when we done with Kemp, go back to being Clark Kent, man. Let these people have it. They If they say that JC is their Lord and Savior, so be it. All right, because look, the word has gone out to all four corners of the earth. Everybody knows about the Israelites. Everybody can hear what's going on. If they don't, if they don't take heed to it, so be it. Let them call on JC. Let them uh, believe that all people in the world can be saved. Let them believe in the hell doctrine. All right. Let them hold on to whatever they beliefs are. We did our part. All right. And if you don't know what's going on. If you don't know the proper breakdown, shut the fuck up. Be quiet. All right? Because, look, these people going to hold on to everything that you say. If they held on to what Yahweh Shai was saying, they're going to hold on to what you say, too. So if you're going to speak, you better make sure it's damn sure on point. 
And that's the point. Lord willing, this will satisfy and giving all praise, all honor, all glories to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakakwadash. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone and all the teachers out there pushing the word and truth, the truth and sincerity, especially now, risk your lives to do so. May you be of the elect. Y'all better stay prayed up and repent, man. Stay away from these idiots in the world. Shalom.